modern day, the future, and now Matt Groening's holy trinity is complete with a brand new Netflix series set in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matt Rogers and this is Disenchantment. Disenchantment is Matt Groening's first major project separate to 20th Century Fox, and according to the official synopsis, viewers will be, quote, whisked away to the crumbling medieval kingdom of Dreamland, where they will follow the misadventures of hard-drinking young Princess Bean, her feisty elf companion, and her personal demon. Along the way, the oddball trio will encounter ogres, sprites, harpies, imps, trolls, walruses, and lots of human fools, unquote. Disenchantment obviously borrows heavily from Groening's signature art style, minus the Simpsons' yellow skin tones, and the team behind Futurama will be taking the wheel in the animation department, also bringing across some of its stars, notably Billy West, voice of Fry, The Professor, Zap Brannigan, and Zoidberg. Young lady, bring me a sandwich from the dumpster and leave the maggots on it. And also starring John DiMaggio, voice of Bender. <coughs> I need mouth to ass resuscitation. I'm on it. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> and Jake from Adventure Time. You feel something, you feel something. It's not about personality matrixels and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. DiMaggio describes this enchantment as a crossbreed of The Simpsons and Game of Thrones, which is definitely a unique concept, but I think it would be a great fit for Netflix who have released an official statement from Groening, who says, quote, Ultimately, disenchantment will be about life and death, love and sex, and how to keep laughing in a world full of suffering and idiots, despite what the elders and wizards and other jerks tell you, unquote. Netflix has so far ordered 20 episodes of the new original, and the first 10 are dropping on August 17. What do you think? Are you excited for a new take on graining style humour in a fresh time period? I just hope the writers haven't used up all their good ideas on the 500 or so episodes of The Simpsons there are, but I guess a fresh universe could only be a good thing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.